over here now that they are being challenged this time by Team Seeker. So it's a 4v1. Levi's took in a little bit of that damage, but coming off the kill fit, it's actually coming from Team Falcon currently out of the game, courtesy of VTR. Yeah, we managed to actually catch a glimpse of that battle was the rest of Falcons. They actually take that claim over to kill very early on. And you see a lot of back and forth between Bigatron Knights as well as they were basically battling for that position. Now they move over on to these corners, finding a beautiful angle. They managed to knock near the deaths. Well, I'm not too sure which player exactly is that, but uh, yeah. overall, there is definitely a hot pursuit as Jen Foss cuts in really closely. He's got that grenade, and I believe Ease has got nowhere else to go mm. but the five behind his tree. That is not going to be a clearing off the corners just yet, but he's ready to go in for a pick. Oh, Great takedown, and what a dodge as well. And it's that will quickly be exchanged by Lapar that has been holding that very same angle. One for one trade. Now it's really down to Icy, and I believe perhaps one more member inside of falcons to be able to still go in for a trade but zux is a little deep inside of boot camp so i wonder if this is gonna end pretty well because action has already been taken out i know yeah this is not looking too good for the side of uh falcons that was a good long range uh shot though coming from la par of vtr um uh, from the kill fit it's uh genfus i believe i'm not mistaken currently knocked down at the moment it's icy all alone in the battlefield inside Uh, because I don't see in, uh, the name Murder ZZ, so perhaps he's changed his name once again. <laughs> we'll get confirmation later on, but Zuxi's uh, mm. in the perfect position. Still trying to actually take them down. I see you holding over onto the hillside. But they might have to look out for what a spray, as they will have Bruce robbing over the back just to supplement a little oh, bit more man. that damage. RQ, they go out early. Team Secret Base spot out. It is Helter Skelter in Sanon. Oh, and early elimination for the side of RQ. They just got ambushed by Alter Ego Ares. Now racking up a total of four elimination points, and they are still going out for more. They are ready to challenge the uh, Team Secret on the other side of the road here. So let's just uh, wait if uh, they're going to be continuing on with the push. But in the meantime, we've got BTR losing two of their members. They already have one point, though. But the question is, can they survive this fight? Up against Nerzid of Falcons. Nerzid already down, courtesy of Lapar. Zuxi going in for the charge. But I think that is it for Falcons. Yeah, I believe there is just perhaps one more member, which was Icy, or have they been taken out yet? Yeah, I still see Icy over the corner of my screen. So he's going to be in a, a tough situation since there's barely enough room to play out. But Icy, we're seeing some incredible plays coming from this gentleman from yesterday. Who knows? Probably is a lot more interested in concluding this fight up against BTR. Uh, so that... They could settle the scores overall are dancing around Ooh. big jump shots half <laughs> hp left and here we go closing it right through could he actually find the mark as there is going to be a, some time to be bought here with him trying to go for those mats meanwhile wrap around the shacks and it all comes zeta last man standing save goes to the other member of ASI and I do assume. <laughs> Nachi, he's gonna go in for a little dance now, looking for a pickup against Red Devil. He's not gonna allow him that time and space. Ooh, Beautiful oh stuff man. coming from Zeta to secure the final blow. Oh man, Red Devil just got sent back to the underworld, man, by Zeta. Oh, that was a clean, convincing win, you know, from uh, from their side. But you know what? The party is not over just yet. BTR versus Falcons, it is still ongoing. It's uh, Zuxi uh, throwing in some uh, smoke grenades over here to try to cover himself up. But I believe East is prepared, cooking up that nade. Can he shut down Lapar? Unfortunately, missed his target over here. It's a 2v1 situation, but good drop right there coming from East. But Lapar, oh man, with a very on point nade, secures the win. Wow. Ooh, you're we're, we're going to be expecting at least four teams to be off the list, and uh, that settlement seems to be <laughs> accurate. at the map over
but they're still up against uh, another team uh, inside that area over there. I, I believe those are the boys coming from former. Oh, just got dropped. So it's uh, it's just the uh, Zoxy right now playing for BTR. Oh man, this is not good for uh, Bigatron. Yeah, they're only down to Zuxy left, but we've seen some great stuff coming in from Zuxy's effort yesterday. Going up against Refuse as he's holding the far end. Not sure if revives will be set right into place, but Refuse is definitely interested to go in for the revival as he will push through. Mm -hmm. A little bit of warning shots, but I do believe that now that they've managed to even get uh, some of all these solicitation, there will be... Uh, a little bit of a split going Ooh. on as they are slowly wearing down Zuxy. He's playing by the smoke, still being very elusive. And here we go, the trade set wow. in. Refus oh. will be winning that one, but he actually takes a little bit of that Molotov coming from Baron. All means do so. Therefore, yeah. moving into Pachinki, we've had a little bit of an affair going on as well. Oh, well, not wow. the kind that you're thinking, where DX, they're <laughs> usually moving into that drop. Take a look at that circle. It's not within reach for anybody wow. at the moment. It's going to be interesting um, set of rotations that we're going to be expecting for the teams here. But wow, five, right? So now BTR will notice that there isn't just one team that they're dealing with. It will have to be a little bit more capital speaking, which wow. not too capital while we go in for the exchange. Zuxi hitting the mark once again as he gives a little bit of a coverage for the rest of BTR to be able to eventually go in for that revive. A little bit of a stretch though, Team Secret, I guess this isn't exactly the kind of spot that they want to find themselves in, but they make do with this situation. Max LV now probably left for dead. So as tries to run across these corners, but it is going to be a tough revival, but he will try nonetheless. There's a lot of open space that could easily be spotted out by Zuxi as he is already oh, yeah. getting those advantages. Genpot's already secured that takedown. And so has now spotted. He, they get the full intel on Team Secret, so I don't think that they could actually move off of North Purge. Okay, so far, so good for the side of Bigatron. One elimination point, and right now, this is just information gameplay, I guess. I mean, we can see that nobody's really going in for the hard push just yet because everyone's aware of the fact that, you know, some of the players are already on the rooftop. They have, a, you know, like a great vantage point. I mean, take Zuxi over here. I mean, he's on top of that building. GK is very much aware of that one as well. But in order for them to take down at least one player here, it could be very difficult. But for the side of Team Secret, two casualties, this was simply a great danger. He won't be moving too much of their muscles at the moment, but it allows the rest of RQ to trail right into these areas of play. Because which so as five two members of RQ running into this door sap, so that is a oh, quick delivery. Man. Can I take my prediction no. back, uh, Mr. <laughs> Production? I don't think that this is going to end all too well for our RQ, as now Lampeco is trying to take out oh. all these members of BTR by himself in the half suit where there's not really much space for him to play around. BTR goes in to close in with the final members of RQ. That was quick work. And somehow, even Team Secret survived a lot longer than RQ did. I mean, who would want to start their game, you know, losing some of, member, uh, some of their members, right? It can be hard, considering the fact that we are just at stage one here, and we've got three teams going head-to-head, -head, losing their players. And uh, I don't know, I mean, which of these three teams is going to be surviving? Okay, so we already have one team out with donation points, and that is a contrast prediction, RQ. Yeah, well, it's just a very uh, tough start to begin with for the rest of RQ. I guess they never really needed the push, and whoa, what a oh! beautiful name. BTR is definitely on to something today. All four points being acquired. They have managed to take down some members of RQ, some members of Team Secret at the very same time. The moment so this jostle of control is on a standstill because any deeper they go, they will be at risk of being spotted by some of all these teams out there. Now we'll take a close look over on the side of Bigatron Knights. Now going for a push up against Roy Esports. This could potentially be a big fight erupting in a moment while DX mm. goes in for a pickoff. Yeah, and also Yudo Alliance, currently head to head with D Savior at the moment. Um, uh, stage three, and we already lost five teams, which brings us down to just 11 teams remaining. We can see an exchange of nades happening between Roy and uh, Bigatron. Uh, Roy Esports, if I'm not. And 
Roy's got to be absolutely careful with this advancement of Bigatron members wrapping around these edges. Well, Apex now finds Tony K as well. Name starting to appear over on the course of our screen. Point Donkey phase plan. They were on the receiving end. Coming in from DRS. And over on to the meeting feed. We are taking a look at a little bit of more of a push towards the side of Vermeer Vibes while the rest of BTR are now trying to pave their passage. And it's going to be Death Boss taken down initially. The exchange goes through. Now they get that godly angles up against the entirety of Roy Esports playing by the smokes, but that is not going to be any form of cover defense. Only down to Tusk. Two members left for the side of Bigatron as they go in for a quick revival. Tusk still playing around Ooh. these edges, dropping in the bottom top, and they will try to run towards the side of Tusk, and he will overwhelm the entirety of Bigatron. Oh, man. Oh, man. He took those bullets like the a brave soldier, man. They're coming off the kill fit, man. It is lining up. Zuxi on the ground. Same thing goes for Sky Pora Esports. Oh, man. Roy. I think they just sealed the deal. Yeah. Point Donkey got eliminated as well with two elimination points. Man, it is happening. Fights happening simultaneously left and right. Pora Esports are not right now getting bombarded by D Saber. Chua just let go of another nade right there. And uh, Pora Esports, they don't have that much space to work with. Not too much, but they have been able to. Six elimination points, and Falak is uh, doing a bit of a heavy lifting here for, for the team. He's the one being. Horrible tease because it could. It is still towards. It's still touching the. Uh, I think it's still touching the military base side as well as the upper side as well. So the themes are trying to be on the safe side right now. So it could be dragged towards the, up, the north side. If it gets dragged to the south side, many of the teams on the north side has to cross over the bridge right here. And the best option is definitely the bridge on the Novo side, on the right side, because the circle is still within that perimeter. But all that and more will be happening very, very soon on stage number three. So here, DRS with five eliminations in their hands here at this current moment. A <laughs> big struggle for everybody out there while the rest of the DR is just a full set in, but the buggy flips in the worst of time. Sour Esports sees an opportunity, but that's not much that or good he could be able to do right there. Break bows out to the play zone. As a matter of fact, I believe a lot of all these players are solely succumbing to the wrath of the blue zone. So, the Tron Knights, they're definitely looking to get themselves pretty much safe into the area, but there is Aura Esports waiting upon arrival. They have to book the hillside. Immediately, no fear takes one off the list. Easy claim up against BTR. Wow, I'm surprised that Megatron did manage to escape teams like Stella Esports, DRS, uh, Voin Donkey on the other side, but Hura was actually waiting for a team to actually cross over. But Megatron, instead of engaging together with Hura Esports, they decide to go up straight towards the east side of the map. Just do not engage. They do not have They will have the rest of them make the cut, but right now, Alliance has got the best of advantages as they've been there from the get-go. Over onto the far end of the eastern corner, it's a much better game for Sour Esports. Oh yeah, and things are not over yet as well. On the sideline, shootouts happening at this current moment. Flags going up on the chase here. On killer, the side to the with the right side, swerve his vehicle. While all that is happening, it does seem to star less. As we got on killer here at this moment. So far, as you mentioned, Alliance have had um, great positioning here in the game. They were not, uh, they were within the circle for the longest time. They had a short engagements here, but it does seem that Roy Esports managed to pick up one of the team members here from Alliance. Roy still with the best case scenario here in the game. With four teams remaining, they have the most amount of players alive at this current moment. You do Alliance, or should I say Alliance, my apologies. Currently in second with three players. Meanwhile, Bigatron with two players left and Xavier with one. The C99, aka Jimmy OP, here. We've seen some remarkable plays from him before. We'll see if he's able to replicate back his amazing plays on yesterday's game. And that seems Toss has his aim set towards this particular building where two of the team members here. Ooh, the moment showed himself. Olio, 
The moment showed himself over there, Contra he got picked up real fast. Uh, it was actually a crossfire from the top side and the lower side from Roy Esports. And we do know that you get another memory here from Alliance. And does seem, despite having such a great run here in this game, uh, they have to bow out in fourth place. Yeah, that was a really a great angle coming from the side of Roy Esports as they will take claim of that compound. Megatron likes only level two members. Now they see the entire squad of Roy Esports. Not that there is much for them to do from this angle other than try to fend them off for this current position. Hug by the corner of the tower, Sotaro over the top side, while there is rest of Roy, who is trailing right behind as they're hoping to close it up against those members of BTR eventually. And now it's between these two squads. I'm just really surprised that the Lions have gotten overwhelmed in this matchup, whereas this could very well be the comeback performance necessary for Roy Esports in this match. BTR only with two members, and this is everything to play for on the line for the side of Roy, as they are slowly wrapping around the edges. I believe that they should at least garner enough information of the current positions of these BTR members. Oh yeah, and of course, these two teams right now, Roy, Looking very healthy, looking great here. That's all they need to do is find the two team members from Victron Knight. And they do spot him out based on the shootouts here. La Parker in trouble, but Dusty, he's able to actually get two of them from Roy. So, from a 4 v 2 situation, they managed to cleanse it up. This might be an insane play here from Roy. Lapar still surviving through, making plays over here. They just need to seek out one more member from Roy Esports. It so happens to be Tusk. And they do find him. They do see where his position at. Starless on the outside perimeters. Lapar, low on HP. Tusk tried to go for a little bit of shoot here. But it's a 2v1 situation. Tusk doesn't have much cover. Suck on the wall. That's going for a shoot. And it does seem that this is going to be... None other than Bigatron Knight's game here for match number nine. They absolutely botch it. I, I don't know how to tell you otherwise because Bigatron Knight is not supposed to take that win. But they did anyways. Like, But I'm still thinking that a lot of these teams, they're looking for those loots before they journey their way back into Gatka or even some of the areas to play out like Primos as well as some forces of that but oh my goodness we're already going in for a brawl and there's a knife to the back that sends that member of alliance down the ground but there is a scorpion in hand so that's gonna be a spray down and the top player of the last match now getting sprayed through whatever they get their sniper's nest or should i just say a small little tower watchtower for him to hold out snape he can't afford to actually take any more peek as it really jumps up, gets picked off by Sitar. Beautiful timing as he managed to eventually take claim of that. Now, so will be looking for a whole lot more up against the rest of RQ in the city. Yeah, I think the thing about Victoria, he didn't even have a really good angle because you're looking from low ground to high ground. That is very easy for him to actually just make his way away from the watchtower and meanwhile here bigatron knight is actually throwing up nades upon no mercy here they do spot him out of course we do have cross right here and zooming on the side in a different building all together but was not able to connect or should i say not enough connection to actually take down any crew members of bigatron knights here at this particular moment so it's going to be a battle for territory in between these two big teams from indonesia to enter the premises one will come out alive. Who will it be? It does seem that none of them decides to disengage from this. These two teams are ready to decide who's going to be holding on to this particular area, Contra. They are now going into close proximity skirmishes where Gobush has been holding out on this angle. He might be able to be on something. And only spots out that member, but that nade perfectly lobbed as Satara predicted him to be a body staircase. These players absolutely do know their angles, and right now only one member left standing in the way. RRQ Ryu absolutely overwhelmed. Will be flushed off the city and will take no points. BTR, while the circle is still around that region of Gatka. State Street, 
slowly closing out within a minute's time. So Tarn now has five points to the tally for the rest of BTR. See what that happens. They have a really great spot to hold out. I don't see any reason why they actually need to make any further moves other than that. Lafar also clearing over onto from the nerf all the way down into the rim of the circle. As the rest of Team Secret, they're looking to be struggling as they are being slowly peppered with these bullets on these vehicles. While the rest of Victron Knights, they will follow suit. They have trailed Team Secret into the compound and they're definitely interested to go in for an invade. They just have to go in to rally all together, but they will still respect the amount of power, power that Team Secret has with these. That was just insane play by Falak Shear. Grenade Master there at PMSL. The reason PMSL Vault 2024 is showing us what he's got over here. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, we'll also be looking at the next circle over here. Also very central centric at the moment here. So Sunny puts most of the teams already on the inside perimeters. Meanwhile, GK wow. oh, getting himself on the outside of the building. Let's go a little bit of shootout. One of the team members here, Leons, is actually just outside here from Team Bigatron. Really double is trying to get cover. He's trying to try to body block some of the shots here from GK. But that's gonna be enough over here. Meanwhile, Falcons action cleared up. Break from Team Secret. This now seeing the rest of Team Falcons preying upon them as well. Both BTR as well as Team Secret weaken up. Only having a couple of members remaining there. Going for the full set into the shack. GK with one HP left. How much more can he do? He will be able to get that knock. Looking for another one, but the further he goes, he will be moving into the territory of the rest of Team Falcons. Barely any space left, but he will be able to heal up for now. A big wraparound coming in from these corners, and I believe that there is going to be a time for them to go for reset. Go for a drop once again. Now, GK, he is making wonders happen. He does not have any troubles left and he will be taken down the list but damage has been struck up against these members of Bigatron despite getting that win they got those seven points but it definitely was a little bit daunting this could be Horus Esports turn to go in for the rush this is just gonna be them pulling out and here comes Dawkins they have arrived just in the nick of time oh yeah I team from Falcon Mackenzie's happened over here throws up Nate Twitch Bigatron's direction, but still kind of undercooked that one. Was not able to actually hit off on anyone. Meanwhile, action, breaking on the action and jumping in into the neighboring building here. Trying to make something happen. Throws in the nade. Oh, it's a connect! I see he is off on Starless and action. Throwing on a nade, connecting here. He, he was just scouting and he does have intel. So if there's any sudden movements, not the Xavier marching towards where the team members are actually looting. I guess he's able to convey the information to the team and they're able to make, make some decision making. Meanwhile, does seem that going to be charging forward. Chua Kong is going to be shooting forward. It's going to be Zuxi here, down on the ground, hands on Chua. Uh, losing a team member and there are no assists, no supports as the team members from Bigatron are a little bit too far away. The secure kill coming on in their hands. That's going to be one point for the Xavier. If they do decide to engage, it's going to be a 4v3 situation. Um, the Xavier also, they're on the back end of this area. Meanwhile, team team members of Bigatron, they do like the one approach this. Paragen moving forward, trying to get a little bit of information. They didn't see him, but Starless is very nearby with just a little bit of cover here with the aluminum right in front of him. And while then looking behind, there is another team member from the Xavier as well. So it has to be really, really careful. Wow, but that was phenomenally played out, but... The moment that they tried to rotate once again, DX got themselves clipped by Genfoss, securing those knocks, and the Savior loses way more than they should have. <laughs> so it's Power still going to be a tree versus tree at the moment. Harrogen being tagged, and he is going to be a, trying to get a little bit of space to heal up, whereas I believe there's another pick off going on coming from their team that should be sleepy, trying to get a little bit more involved against the rest of Vampire Esports. Battle through the hill as this has yet to conclude. It's taking a long while for the Savior to set those scores. Nate passes from each side. And somehow Powergen actually hits on to Gen Boss. The Coke, but that will be traded blow for blow. Down to a two versus two. Powergen now hiding into the shack. Oh no! Quick timing! Oh, Satara with only one HP left. They overwhelm the rest of 
DX by taking separate battles. Wow, kind of overcook the nade over there. Was not able to actually change to his weaponry fast enough, but got picked up. And I think that despite actually it was a 4v3 situation, signing more towards his game first, but um, Bigatron managed to turn things around and make it a big win for themselves. Able to hold on to still three of the team members while one is currently a very, very, very low HP. Meanwhile, DRS up against Team Vampire Esports. You guys know this. They're holding on to that top two place over here. Vampire Esports also wants a piece of the top two teams, but unfortunately, DRS is a... Uh... Alter Ego bows out to these big names out there. DRS as well for Michael Box getting those numbers here. Coach Falcons as well arriving to take down the members of Bigatron Red, Red Aliens. I like to call them Red Aliens, but it's actually Bigatron Knights for what oh, they're known right now. I get you. Here, I get you. Here, adding more points to the tally while they are still battling throughout the course of the matchup. We see the circle now closing into the deeper areas of the valley. While there is certain regions held by Alliance that can benefit them at this very moment. One donkey up the hill. How you can contribute. Like, it's such a big risk for you to engage with Tilpo. As I remember, meanwhile, we're looking at Vegtron up against Falcons over here. Falcons scavenging around, trying to make the sweet, sweet escape. But under heavy gunfire coming out from Vegatron, they are two of the members up there, murders. As well as action, but they are down on their knees between action and murders. Oh, they need help. They need help, but the team members are a little bit too far away. Bigatron's Leon's getting himself uh, securing the perimeter. Here. Also making his sweet sweet escape. While all this is happening, Zuxi. Oh, doesn't the Falcon is actually within the blue circle area? So this is just all bigger area, so this is just all Bigatron has to do right now is just screen the team members from Falcons away from moving forward. Oh, they just want to entering into the smoke area here. The shots, some of them connects, but it's not enough to actually kill them out. Parajin decides to make an escape over here. Wraps around to the other side, but gets spotted out here in the hands of not using from ASIA, but they can't relax too too early here because there's still team members from the Xavier still around the perimeters. Red Devil having the high ground vision over things with hopes he can actually provide that crossfire support for his teammates. And they are currently in the blue zone. It doesn't hurt so much. So this med pack should be able to rejuvenate Red Devil to high HP. I absolutely love how Red Devil played it out, giving all the information necessary. Also landing the final blow of our DS. We continue with this fight between Bigatron as well as the rest of Team Falcons. Yet to recuperate, we still see action limping on the ground, but they've already lost too many members. Goes my prediction. Only ease left standing in the way of hug hugging going down over on the corner of the warehouse. I believe that the moment that the rest of Bigatron goes in for that full reset. They should be moving directly to challenge the only members standing in the way from Team Falcons. And as a matter of fact, with another update to the zone, BTR definitely <laughs> wants that spot uh, for themselves. But this could be a very similar play. We see Boing Donkey in the exact same spot that they were from last round. Maybe a little deeper in as compared to the gas station. He's now close up to the spots out. Leon Punk moving across the East vicinity. And it's going to be Gen Foss quickly getting sort of out. Here comes a little bit of spray down. Leon Punk will be able to get that massive spray and will secure these three points up against Falcons. The one other point was claimed by our key area of the paddle. They have definitely taken a whole long time to even go through the outskirts. Now needing to at least claim a little bit more of that space. It is going to be a tough area to play out for the rest of Vampire Esports. Now moving towards the location where Point Donkey is at. Big Nate's now being primed right in. Traps now trying to go down with the 1v1s. Not too far off on our mini map. There is also a couple members of Team Secret that is hoping to also send shots towards the side of Stone. That forced Tato to actually swerve past back over the buggy to regroup with the squad. But this is not going to be an easy hole for the rest of Boing Donkey. They have this high ground advantage, but barely enough cover for themselves. Oh yeah, so they have to hold on to this area. So just peeking at different directions. They are sitting ducks, although it's great that you have 
um, elevated terrain for yourselves. But right now, not having such a good cover, and there's no there's no reason for the other team to actually make any form of move, which means that you're exhausting the players trying to cover your six, cover your three, cover your twelve, cover your nine. So that's going to be um, quite problematic for Point Donkey, despite them being in the central area of the circle at this current moment, meaning that they have to work double time and ensure that their asses, uh, their, their north, south, east, and west are being covered at all times. Meanwhile, your RRQ up against your brethren, Indonesian brethren, from Bigatron, Wall will come out on top. Here's Zouin doing a little bit spray. It's not even just connected with Zuxi. Zuxi will be dropped here in the hands of Zouin and eliminates Bigatron in 12th place while they only have three elimination points. We can get three points for Bigatron Knight here at this match. And of course, production also displaying the next... Gilang Rambu Anarchy, Anakku. Bang, lu pakai HP HP Master kemarin di sini, enggak? Pakai iPhone terus. Ini apaan anjir? Tebegal tuh 